<clears throat> my parts come today. Here's my new build. I got the Antec 1200 gaming case. With the Intel Core i7 920 processor. The Cooler Master V8 CPU cooler. EVJ X58 motherboard. I got six gigs of G skulls. Order total of 12 gigs. Uh, I guess the other six is in another box that's being shipped to me with some other parts in it with my kids build I'm building. You're about already building. But I guess I'll be getting them here soon. I ordered them later on at night. But I ended up ordering these because these were 109 on sale. And I got 12 gigs for the price of the Corsairs. So I figured I'd go ahead and get these. 12 gigs of these was the same price as the Corsairs. And I was reading a bunch of reviews on these memories. And just the setup in general that I bought. And <clears throat> this memory... I read a lot of good reviews on it, and people's overclocking them to 2,000 and everything. So I figured I'd go with this set and give it a try. For, you know, 12 gigs of these for the price, the same price of the Corsairs couldn't beat it. But I got the Philips DVD light scribe burner. I got the ABS Abits titanium modular power supply. The BZ series 800 watt modular. I got <clears throat> the Antac static wristband. OCZ freeze thermal compound. Figured I'd give this a try over the Arctic Silver. I've been using Arctic Silver all this time. So I figured I'd give this a, a shot. I've read a bunch of reviews on this as well. Um, we got Vista Home Premium 64 bit. I got this with a combo. Got the 64 bit operating system and these headphones and mic for 124 on Newegg. <clears throat> I needed a new set. My Logitechs were cutting out, so I couldn't beat it. It was like 14 more dollars, and I got these, so whatever. $24, I got these or something. I can't remember. This, I think, is $124.99, I think. But, you know, I needed them. Yeah, I mean they'll they'll work all right, I guess for twenty four bucks. And I got two five hundred gig <clears throat> Western Digital hard drives. Two. Uh, this is World of Warcraft, the book. We come with the CPU. It was a combo. I got HP. DVR, DVDR plus blank disc and I got my EVGA 9800GX2 I didn't upgrade this I figured I'd stay with this card and see how well this system ran with this card I, lo I love this card never once had a problem with this card but I figured I'd keep running this until I upgrade to the 295 I might do that here soon um, or I might just wait because I heard something about Windows 7 might not be compatible with uh, the video cards that's out right now so I don't know we'll have to see maybe it's just a hearsay thing I don't know but I really want the 295 but I like this card so I guess I'll just wait and see how the system runs with this and that's my setup guys um, I'm gonna be doing a build here soon probably tonight or tomorrow and I'll post a update of it and then I might do some overclocking and uh, some benchmarking stuff like that but I hope y'all enjoy this video later